Hi guys, it's me Andrea. This is the first video I upload after my problem with my Google account. Um, so this is actually a Christmas card I made for Lynn. This um, page you see I'm using, it's a wash up page. Um, I clean stencils on it and I thought that looks nice. It has a bit of texture to it and I uh, wanted to use it and while I was doing that the idea, the idea came to make a card for Lynn because she was here I told you that in the in the other video in my vlog and we exchanged or wanted to exchange our Christmas card so we don't have to send it and you're you're more free to do whatever you like doesn't matter how dimensional it is how heavy it is so I got mine from Lynn fantastic card actually oh, absolutely dimensional and heavy so good job she brought it with her and when Lynn left I forgot to give her mine <laughs> it was oh, it was a pity so I thought I can't I can't really send this one I really can't because uh, or that one I made for her far too dimensional so you can see me seeing you can watch me um, making this um, replacement card and I used the new colors the twos the board the water solubles on this in different pa uh, colors and I didn't really mind I took whatever came to my mind and I didn't really look into if it would work or not so quite colorful and I go around with uh, with a stubby low all in black to give it more dimension and you can see all these little circles around I didn't want to color them all in so this one outside will be only covered with white paint because I had the white paint left over from another project so um but at the end you won't see a lot of this uh, white circles anyway I have to cut it down and a lot of that you will see some stuff of course at the moment I put in some reflections on the circles and then I thought hmm it's Christmas and the circles are yeah, looking like bubbles, don't they? So I put some silver on top, you will see soon. And I think this is uh, Maya Gold I use in silver. And I put on top this little silver, what do you call them? Silver things where you got the hook on to hang the bubbles. So that's what I did. And here I go over sketchy with sketchy lines to um, make the, the hook and yeah outline it and make the hook so and as I said I had to um, size it down and to fit on a, a card and this is a square one that's a trick actually here to have it on all sides equally an edge, an equal edge, because I don't like to measure. Mm, I never have a standard measurement anyway, so that's what I do. So and then I thought mm, the background is not quite right. It, you know, I didn't have a background, a gessoed background or something, and um, to me it looked a bit rough and a bit, yeah, dirty. Let's say it like this. And then I went in with Titan Buff from Golden, the fluid acrylics, and put it in. It was the best um, option. It, I didn't want to have it too colorful and I didn't want to have it white. So the Titan Buff is always nice for a neutral background. So, But I think um, it brought it well together. So you will definitely see a close up. At the moment I only laid it uh, on, on black cardstock and it will go on to the white card base soon now and um, you will see a close up as I said uh, but no photos I forgot to take pictures 
and now it had gone so <laughs> it has gone <laughs> and um, yeah but the close-up will be pretty good I think so this is Merry Christmas in German close it down and on top of that I work with my triple gloss and it gives it a nice little shine and that's it actually so you will see the close-up now I hope you like it and I love to hear about Lynn if she likes it and that's the close up so I hope you like it as I said and I will see you soon with my next project so have a nice time guys see you soon bye bye thanks for watching